motherfucker, man. Shout out to my dog, man. Because I don't even want to fuck her no more, man. This shit hurt me, bro. You killed my dog over some dick, man. Come on, man. You got to be kidding me, man. This bullshit, bro. That's why I don't fuck with folks now, man. Because of shit like this, man. You killed my motherfucking dog. Like, for real, bro. An animal. An animal ain't even called no harm. He ain't never approach you in no kind of way. That bullshit, man. You killed my motherfucking dog, man. My dog ain't even breathing right now, man. Look, ain't see my motherfucking dog up. A bitch did this shit, man. A bitch did this because I don't want to get dick her down no more, man. A bitch did this shit. Hey, Next moment I am flying, guard body like a David had, grew into Goliath, I triumph over any evil thought that undermines me, trying to get it out the mud while y'all focused on the finest, this that crawfish special, I swear, I'm something so different, these labels won't love cause I'm southern, or an album that folks won't buy cause I'm nothing till I pull up to the club with some hunters like fuck it, that's for y'all, going home with no one I can call, fuck a pad dog, I had to write my thoughts up on the wall, I can't hide from it, my fears knowing where I stay at, I pedal Love for the low, was steady getting hate back. I hate that if truth was a blunt, they wouldn't face facts. Been cried about them daughters too long, I got my space back. Lonely as of lately, I swear that some time it take that for you to figure out what direction to point your faith at. I'm riding on the road, I don't know which way to go. Devil trying to take my soul, I ain't in it for no dough. Instead of swinging on the road. Welcome back to the Be Fast Podcast. I'm Al Canseco, fearless leader of AL Nation and the Men 2 Movement. Um, I don't know where it's going. I don't know if it's going to the Patreon or to the uh, YouTube. Uh, it's right here. This series here. I don't know how deep I'm finna go on this one. This is all you see. Uh, Aki, come here, Aki. Cause, uh, let me tell you something. Come here. Let me tell y'all something. Come on. Come on. I need you to get on camera, Aki. Come on. <laughs> Right here, right here, right here. There you go. Let me tell y'all something. If if a bitch, yeah, you come get some too, Saki. We ain't white folks. Don't leave them out. Come on, Saki. Come on, get up here. Let Saki get up here now. Come on. Come on. Come on, Saki. All right, if you don't want to come up here, come on. There you go. Look at the camera, y'all. If a bitch or a nigga, I don't give a fuck. Y'all go ahead. Thank y'all. Mm -hmm. Bitch or a nigga, fuck with my fucking dogs. And I do have 15 at the time. These are just the ones on the, the inside. Uh, I try to sit my shit up like a, I ain't gonna talk about that. Um... Dogs are very special in that um, if you give them love, they will. Um, it, it, it's something different. It's something different. And you know, like I said, my favorite rapper is DMX. And it's so crazy. Um, it's insane. You know what I'm saying? For him to be... Um, what album was that? Um, the Great Depression. No, it might have been Grand Champ. It might have been Great Depression. Uh, it might have been Grand Champ. Or it was an interlude. Talk about a dog. I think it was Grand Champ. The intro to the first song. Um, 
DMX got the name of his dog on his back. Boomer. Um, tattooed and shit. Um, but this this goes to show you. It, it's so many lessons in this. Um, for a bitch to kill your dog. First off. First off. First off. First off. This is the reason why you have to get your shit together. As you can see, this nigga, and I, I would like to do an interview with this nigga. And I'll tell him, just like I'm telling y'all now, it's obvious to see that this nigga don't have his shit together. Um, or maybe he do. Maybe he work a job, but he, he's definitely on drugs. Um, definitely didn't graduate high school. Um... If you're not fucking with a bitch no more, none of your shit should be over there. First of all, this is how I feel. Um, this is why you don't fuck a bitch. This is why you don't fuck a hoe until you realize who she is. There's nothing wrong with dating for a year without sex. That's insane to say. That is insane to say. Um, but well, I mean, what's the what's the what's the um, alternative? Uh, date a bitch for six months and she give you the, the, the best of her you know I think six months would be good but uh, date a bitch for two months and, and not fucking two months which is hard as fuck to do also um, you know go on dates and stuff like that when I say dates I mean Katrina give date idea like you know what I'm saying sometimes it don't cost money go to the gun range or just somewhere where it don't cost no money or if it costs money you pay your tab or you know, maybe pay her tab, whatever like that. And if you don't have money to pay the tab, then don't date the bitch. You shouldn't be dating anyway. You should be getting your shit together. And then you can focus on, you know, maybe building something with someone else. But until your money sustains itself, I don't think you should even be, you know, out this hole looking for nothing. Um, because this is what you got. For being irresponsible... Um, and not paying attention to what the signs were. If a bitch would kill a dog, she showed you signs. The fact that she was just okay with uh, getting dick, whatever like that. The fact that she would date someone like you. My, like I told y'all before, my mother said that um, any girl that would um, fuck with you ain't worth shit. Uh, because you don't have shit. You know what I'm saying? All you have is yourself like you know how to dress good and you have you know tattoos and shit like that um you don't have shit any girl who would of course you know you know whatever she don't understand the, the street world or the rap shit if it ain't making money um but if she would just be okay with just fucking with you like that while you down bad you dealing with a nothing ass bitch she don't want shit she don't want nothing um she wants the, the lowest possible, which is six. Probably a, uh, that house is probably a section eight house. Um, she probably got a couple kids or something like that. Um, just a dis like disgusting situation. I, I bet she looks disgusting. Um, and we have to understand as men um, at this point Whatever a bitch do to us is. Hey yo, what it do, man? It's your man Ayo Conseco. I'm tuning in with the Big Face Podcast. One. I can't do it. I can't do it. That just ain't my style, dog. I just, I just gotta keep it real. Look, dog. Let me holler at y'all. Look, I don't put that Patreon. Them numbers for the Patreon. That's for Ayo Nation. If you're in AO Nation, you need to be a Patreon. I don't put all the videos, they won't be listed on YouTube. So if you want all the videos and shit like that, you need to be a Patreon. If you want to contribute to the conversation that we have every Monday night, we go live on the Big Bash Podcast YouTube channel at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you want to contribute to that conversation, have the call in number to where you can call in at any fucking time during those lives. You need to be a Patreon. I don't put those Patreon numbers in the men two numbers at the beginning of the show just so you can hear Winning Streak. As a matter of fact, if you want the whole Winning Streak single, all you have to do is send two dollars to the Cash App or the PayPal, um, and I'll send the song to whatever emails attached to your PayPal or Cash App. It's not that fucking hard. Um, 
but the Patreon is for AO Nation. I expect for y'all to fuck with that. Um, and before y'all start asking, this hat is not for sale. Um, the markup on it is too high. I was just trying to see what that shit looked like for real. The markup is too high right now, so I have to sell that shit for like $30, and I'm not prepared to say that to y'all. Um, so right now, we just have the men two t-shirts for $20, uh, Big Face Podcast. We have the new Navy Blue Big Face Podcast uh, t-shirt. Uh, 15 everything is 15 with the men two t-shirt then you got the big face podcast scully for uh ten dollars deal go to paypal.me forward slash are you serious 10 and put all your information in that motherfucker um i salute everybody all of my niggas all of the men two men two men two members ao nation members that have been donating to the show as you know i'm a nigga on youtube so it is what it is so when you contribute it's a big deal to me, um, but don't go crazy. Uh, but every uh, third Sunday, we do the AO Nation donation conversation where I shout out everybody who showed love uh, within that period and shit like that. If you don't want to be mentioned during that show, all you have to do is put no mention and you won't be mentioned. Um, but I really do appreciate everybody who shows love every third Sunday. It seemed like my message has went out there to where people know if you're a small business, you got to have at least $100 for promotion. Uh, if you're an artist, you need to have at least $200 for promotion. Other than that, just leave me alone. I do this shit by myself. But I salute everybody for really giving me my time, giving my space to do what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. So I salute you. You want to go to work? Let's go to work. If IG sponsorship shit is not doing shit for you, and you know that. So handle your fucking business. Holler at me. Let's get some shit done. i see you on the man. Get your shit together, be on. Pretty much our fault because we put ourselves in that situation to be fucked over unless it was something on the job you know a bitch say that ah he fucking you know he tried to fucking grab my titty in the fucking break room and shit like that we put ourselves in this, these situations like this to be at a bitch house with no cameras is is to be at a bitch house period um that's amazing that's that's just you can't have shit there's no way you have something and you still going to a whole house um i'm not going to a bitch house a bitch not come she's not coming to my house but when i was out here and ain't have shit i gave a fuck bitch i'm staying at your house and this is where i'm staying for the next three fucking months you know what i'm saying like and that's how we move and the reason why we would be done fucking with a bitch but our shit would still be at her house is because now we didn't left and now we trying to you know i'm not trying to be around you bitch i'm trying to deal i'm trying to find out where the fuck i'm gonna live at though where the fuck i'm gonna live now you know what I'm, saying? I'm done with this hoe and he he was probably dealing with the same thing that you dealing with you know what i'm saying as far as just an evil hoe um, talk rough to you and then expect for you to fuck her at night without no apology or after she feel like she apologized she feel like because she's over it you over it she can be mad as she want to be for however long she want to be mad but you can only be mad as long as she wants you to be mad and that's what you will be circum that's what you're you're succumbing to and you're bowing down to when you say I'm just a broke nigga and I have the nerve to be out this bitch trying to live with a bitch acting like the fuck we just playing house I ain't got shit going on I'm gonna go down here tomorrow see if Johnny gonna let me work for him and cut some grass and see if goddamn you know I'm working with motherfucker uh Mr. Charles painting them houses and power washing with Mr. Mr. uh Mr. Raymond uh on Tuesday and she see where your money go. Like, you're not contributing shit to nothing. You're not putting no money toward no bill. Uh, maybe, mainly because the bills don't have to be paid. They pay, and that's just being a nothing-ass nigga. Just thinking the bills get magically paid. You live here. You open a refrigerator. You, you take baths here. Uh, you watch the TV. You play the game. You let niggas, you know what I'm saying, come over and shit like that. And all she asking for you from you is 
just take all the other stuff. And that's, that's really what you have to do. Like, take all that relationship shit out of your mind. But when you do that shit, it's like, you're not even just a sex slave. You're a slave, period. You understand? That's what the fuck you give up when you say, I'm not putting no money in the pot. I'm just going to stay here. I'm just, gonna, I'm, I'm just a squatter. You just a nothing ass nigga. You don't have shit going. Uh, it was a meme. I want to put the meme up. It said, right now, it's a nigga somewhere waiting on this uh, girl to get off so he can get a cigarette. Man, if that shit ain't so fucking true, like, you it. Oh, my God, man. It's, you got to, you got to, you got to set a fucking alarm on top of her alarm. So the fuck she don't leave in the morning so you can go drop her off at work. Cause if she, if she don't if nigga if you don't get up in the morning time, then you stuck in the house all fucking day. And whether or not you have any drugs to last for that day, nigga, that's gonna be a hard ass time. That's gonna be a hard ass eight hours. Then you gotta hope that bitch comes straight home after work. And if that bitch know that she left you on purpose, that bitch gonna be out for a little while. That bitch might not come back till 8 o'clock. She ain't got nowhere to go. Nowhere to go but just pushing that shit on you. That's how much tension is in the house. And then when she get in the house, you snatch the goddamn tees out of her hand and shit like that. Uh-uh, nigga! And all that type of shit. But also, this bitch will come home and expect to get some straight dick. And it's like, it's just a disgusting situation on both ends of the fucking spectrum. And this is what the fuck you get out of that shit, man. This is what you get out of it, man. If if you not if you not willing to fuck that shit, dog, I'm not fucking with nothing until I have something of my own, something of my own. I'm not going nowhere that I'm not gonna contribute. Where I'm not gonna be an asset, so that I can be celebrated and not fucking tolerated. Bitch gotta go buy you some clothes so you go to church with it and shit like that and whoo but the only way I truly believe this the only way that you can live like that as a black man is if you're on drugs there's no fucking way as a sober I want to say this so bad I want it to be true there's no way as a black man that you are going to just be sitting up in a bitch house sober as fuck every day and not be doing shit with life just fucking I'm just near shit I, I don't I don't see it I don't see it I don't I just I just and I'm sure somebody in the comment section gonna say nah that that, that go on but it like Let's get down to the consequences of this situation. Um, what I want to tell you, my nigga, is go ahead and call the police. And in cases of animals, especially dogs, these white people will give this bitch more time than if she would have killed your ass. She could have killed you and got less time than killing the fucking dog. So, and the only way that you can kill a dog and say, ah, right, nah, this dog trying to attack me, is if you kill the dog with a knife or with blunt force. You can't give a dog no fucking antifreeze and say, oh, no, this dog was trying to destroy everything. Then why the fuck didn't you put a little bit of food or something on a, uh, on a plate and throw that shit outside and let the dog go outside? Why the fuck did you kill this fucking dog, you stupid bitch? Man, when this nigga... Let me watch this shit again, dog. When this nigga showed that shit, or this fucking... The ants eating... Shot killed my dog, man. Because I don't even want to fuck her no more, man. This shit hurt, man. Bro, I killed my dog over some dick, man. Come on, man. You got to be kidding me, man. Let's start there. Hey, man, look here. Katrina, 
you, everybody go to the Conversation With Me podcast. She got a fucking show up she put out yesterday of some nigga named Trey. What the fuck this nigga name is? I don't know, nigga. Trey? Trey and this bitch with purple hair? And then now this bitch trying she fucking pregnant. Man... Look at this ugly bitch. Look at her. Look at this bitch. Damn, I can't see the other video. Let me look at this damn other video. This bitch. This, so this this fat head, weave weave a tone this bitch. To my uh. To my uh, giving a reason why she cheated on him and shit. Trey Bills. Trey Bills, this nigga all on the fucking game. Oh, man, I can't believe she. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and I can feel that. That is nothing wrong with crying when you hurt and shit like that. That's all love. Don't do it too much. A nigga should only cry, but every, you know, maybe every three years or some shit like that. Um. But. If you gon if you gonna go through something emotional and shit like that, I don't know. I don't know. I I I, I don't get yourself together. Get yourself together. Don't run to the fucking internet. Um, unless you're setting the shit up for a court case or something like that. But nigga, if you just gonna cry so the people will see you cry, what the fuck are you doing? That proves even further that you're a nothing ass nigga. All that crying on camera, we gotta stop that shit. I mean, it makes shit look, uh, uh, disingenuous, but obviously this is genuine. Can't pause this shit or nothing. This is bullshit. I got stoned by a wasp today, though, in the back of my fucking head. That's crazy as fuck. Damn this nigga dumb as fuck. At this point, that that whole acting like you don't know a bitch what a what a hoe gonna do, that shit ain't gonna cut it. That ain't gonna cut it. They ain't gonna cut it. They ain't gonna cut it. All that uh oh uh, man, man, what kind of bitch man? Only just because I, just because you haven't real what the fuck have you been? Nigga, dick is more valuable than money to a bitch, to a nothing ass bitch. That's why you need to go to the Patreon so that you know how to identify a nothing ass bitch very soon. Uh, next week, actually, uh, after the live, after Monday's live next week, uh, we're going to do the uh, how to identify a uh, now by her house. Um, so get to the Patreon so you can catch that shit. Um, and I think next month we're going to start all the live streams are going to be on the Patreon. So if you don't catch the live, um, if you don't catch the live on Monday, the only way you'll be able to see the playback is going to be on the Patreon. So make sure you get over there. But this is why it's so important to know how to identify a nothing ass bitch. So that you know how to handle the situation. You don't need to be going into a situation thinking that uh, I, I'm, it's cool if I leave my clothes right there. This shit's straight. It's all good. Yeah, I know my clothes good over there. Yeah, 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 I'm just finna go down the road right there. My nigga, if this hoe is mad, all bets are off because with a nothing ass bitch, she feels like 
her emotions justify any of her actions. I was mad. This nigga. I was mad. This nigga made me mad. And, go. and then the bitch won't even understand the repercussion. Okay, well, ma'am, uh, you murdered him. So you're gonna, uh, your sentence is 40 years. I shut up, shut up, and try to walk out the fucking courtroom. I, I, no, I, I need, I need to do some shit. And I've told y'all about, you know, if you've seen the Patreon, you've seen, uh, the, uh, top three ways to identify a nab. I talked about her mouth, um, speaking in broken English and just, um, can't hold a conversation. This is why she runs to sexuality so quickly. Because that's then her power. She feels like that's her power at that point. She's good at fucking. She's good at, you know, making a nigga dick feel good. Um, and to most niggas, that is the kryptonite. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, I'm bored. Let me go and give me some head or some shit like that. No shit before. Um... You can get in a nigga. You can get in a nigga on a nigga team like that. You can be a, a, a heavy six woman on that shit. Just being a motherfucker that come through with the head. You can be. You can really get in a nigga rotation like that. Just being the head girl. Like just being a bitch that you know what I'm saying. You gonna come through and ain't gonna be no clean up, no nothing. You gonna take everything to the back of the neck. And you know what the fuck you doing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you you'll get in you'll get in rotation like that, and a lot of hoes will do that. They'll just be the head, you know what I'm saying? She'll come in, won't even try to take her clothes off. Yeah, this is all I'm here for, and will dip afterwards. A bitch, you gotta watch this shit. If you a nigga with anything going for yourself, you gotta understand. You know what I'm saying? I might need to explain that also. Um different tactics bitches will use to, to get you comfortable to knock them fucking walls down. She'll come in paying for everything, giving, giving, giving. That's a sign that she wants you to give. Uh, the shit that she'll give, it, 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 it's insane. It's insane. The shit go deep. But this whole uh, premise that you don't know what a bitch will do when she's dick deprived is no longer going to be an excuse at this point in time in 2020 um, as we're going into it. Uh, man, she be goddamn cut my dick off, man, because I wasn't fucking no more, dog. Goddamn, bro. Bitch, you don't even tell me where she hid, the motherfucker, man. Motherfucking bitch, man. Bitch. <laughs> I was there like, nigga, you a fuck, nigga, you a story in the news. Nobody give a fuck about you. You see what happened when I tried to goddamn make the Men 2 movement uh, go across the world? Niggas don't give a fuck. So shit like this happened and ended up bringing awareness to it, but niggas don't give a fuck because the nigga feel like that ain't going to be him. It's not going to be him. As if you can control a hoe. If I'm, it, it's like, I, I don't, I, and I don't, I don't understand that. If I'm the nigga saying this is what the fuck it is, how the fuck do you feel like nigga? No, nah, shit, that, that that it ain't no them niggas. It's me. I'm the one saying it. You got more control over bitches than me. Come on, nigga, stop that. Stop that. I'm telling you what's going on. I'm telling you, get your shit together. Get you some money, legal money. Get you something going on to where your money make money, and then to where you don't have to focus on getting money all the time. Um, meaning, if if you out over here, if you over here going out somewhere, you ain't fucking your money up by being out somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Like you need to be at the fucking desk. You know what I'm saying? Handling business, or you need to be at the job handling business so you can make more money. Um. And that's what I'm saying. It, and it's not easy to do. It is not easy to do. Um, you listen to the T-Pain interview on The Breakfast Club. And he talked about how he went from, I think, $40 million to zero. Mainly from bad fucking investments. Going into that real estate shit. Not understanding it. Or trying to, you know, go into an... These motherfuckers 
that are in the stock market, the great investors, they've been watching this shit for as long as we've been playing peewee fucking football. They've been indoctrinated in this money system. They understand money to a fucking T. How the fuck do we understand money and we don't never have that shit until we goddamn are adults? And even by then, nigga, we just still, we, we, we infants in, in fucking finances. Most of us are not going to school for it. And even if you go to school for the shit, they're only going to teach you so much of it. It's going to be employee prone shit. Because they cannot tell you, you have to be in, they can't tell you how to make a good investment. They can't tell, look at this, look at that. Nigga, you can, I right, well shit, he ain't making nothing, but I believe what the fuck he doing and that shit is shoot to the moon. They can tell you how to make a sound safe, you know what I'm saying, but that safe money don't make no fucking money, that's scared money. Make a whole bunch of them and, and shit, you know all that, you can pin and stop, whatever the fuck. Damn, it's the third fucking time. That nigga come full speed, too. Alright, oh, he dropped it. Yeah, nigga, you gotta be goddamn immersed in this shit, nigga. Seeing your 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 your, your, your father, your grandfather fucking up. You know what I'm saying? They teach you about IRAs and and fucking the how bullshit 401ks are and shit like that. How to make money off of people who don't know how to invest money. You can just talk circles around them. You know what I'm saying? You 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 talking to fucking judges about how stupid their real estate investments are. Just fuck it. It's all fucking money. It's all money. Nigga, from the womb, we trying to survive. Who in the fuck is that? Luke, nigga, got off the fucking chain. Luke! Come here, Luke! Speaking of dogs. Luke! But... That's what it breaks down to. This is hood of this is hood palooza bullshit that happens when you don't have any control of your fucking life. People can just snatch shit out of it. You know, you wanna you wanna be crying like that when you know the IRS comes and finds some type of loophole and, and snatches up five of your fucking rental properties. Or fucking they come and audit you, you know what I'm saying, on some Wesley Snipe shit and when you've been paying your taxes. We have so little that we have to hold on to it and, and put our whole heart in anything that we have because we have so fucking little. You have to pay attention to a bitch, the main thing, as she's sucking and giving, sucking and giving. She just giving you everything, head, money time just anything you want she's doing that shit to learn you this is the only time this is the only thing she needs to learn what the fuck you care about where you have to go what drug you do how bad are you on that drug what does he have where does he have to go what drug does he do how bad is he on that drug what does he love if you can't the nigga it's obvious that you don't give a fuck about how you look so, her, nigga, you probably ain't got no fucking clothes. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't have whole... I, 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 you know, wardrobes. But that's, I, I'm on that type of shit, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm on that clothes shit. Um, you learn about that. Being a fresh nigga, being a fresh nothing-ass nigga. And I don't know if I was a nothing-ass nigga. I was a nothing-ass nigga in what I was doing, but I always had an idea. I, I always came to a bitch with, like, paperwork. I always had plans and shit like that. Um, 
you cannot believe in what I'm doing, but a bitch can never say I was never doing nothing. Always doing something. Always trying to make something work. Um, but still, I was a nothing ass nigga for not having my shit together enough to say, nah, I'm not trying to live. But I, I was thinking so small and fast. Like, yeah, I, I can goddamn just, I just use this whole car. And it's the fucking. I used this whole car and uh, I used this whole car I used this bitch car and uh, this is how I get to all my little licks and shit like that and that's how I get over here this whole got a car so I'll be able to move around and I, shit, I, I, can, I can come up from here but I can't come up because I'm popping pills every fucking day. So no matter how high I come up, you know what I'm saying? I'm still going to be in the same fucking place. And I'm going to stay here so long that I'm going to fall. And in the streets, that's all that's going to happen. When you come up, you go down. You come up, you go down. Nothing's going to stay the same. So it don't matter who you are in the street. As long as you're in the street, you're going to come up. But you're going to fall as long as you stay in the street. When you come out the street, of course you're gonna fall. You're gonna come to zero. But when you come up, that shit is gonna be sustained. You don't have to go down. You can just keep rising, keep rising, keep rising. When I say come out the street, I mean come out and shake all that shit off. Shake the dope, shake the fast life, the night scene, shake the holes, you gotta shake all that shit. Three S's. And from that point forward, you're starting from zero. You will start at zero. You'll be homeless. You are going to be homeless. But whatever you gain from that point forward, nobody can take it from you. As long as you're in the streets, you have nothing. Because everything you have can be taken away. Once you come out of that shit, everything that you have is there. It's tangible. The shit in the street is imaginary. At any fucking moment, at the left turn, right turn, as soon as you get in a car, it's over with. They can come to, it don't matter what the fuck it is. So, but this is what we, most of the time we get fucked up right here. I'm going to do another video on a nigga name. What his name is? Devin, Devon, the nigga who, um. Shawty killed my dog. We know she killed your dog, my nigga.